Today I am going to deal with volcanoes chapter 7. Its meaning, types, active, dormant and extinct, effects, constructive and destructive, important volcanic zones of the world. The forces relating to or arising from the interior of the earth are called endogenic forces. There are two types of endogenic forces, diastrophic and sudden movements. Volcanicity is a process which involves the intrusion of magma in the earth's crust or the extrusion of such molten material into the earth's surface. This process gives rise to volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions are one of the earth's most dramatic and violent agents of change. Not only can powerful explosive eruptions disrupt the life and property of the people, they may alter the existing features of the land surface within tens of kilometers around a volcano drastically and cause complete destruction. However, at times, volcanoes have a constructive influence on the earth's surface and may provide a deeper insight in the interior of the earth. A volcano is a vent or opening in the crust of the earth connected by a conduit to an underlying magma chamber from which molten lava, volcanic gases and steam are ejected. It is usually in the form of a cone or dome according to the material ejected. Causes of Volcanic Eruptions The volcanic eruptions are sudden movements associated with internal forces of the earth. A volcano is a vent in the earth's crust from which fiery hot magma erupts from the earth's interior. The main causes of volcanic eruptions are the following. Heat and pressure inside the earth. Temperature and pressure both increase from the surface towards the center of the earth. Rocks are bad conductors of heat. So the earth's heat does not escape on its own. Instead, it melts the rocks and builds up a great pressure. The pressure forces the heat to find an escape route through fissures and cracks in the rock. Plate tectonics Most volcanic eruptions take place near plate margins. The earth's crust is made up of a series of movable plates. When these plates slide past each other or collide against each other due to intense heat inside the earth's core, their edges produce faults along the lines of weakness. It is along these plate boundaries that the crust is weakened and through which the hot magma gushes out leading to volcanic eruptions. The same forces that cause earthquakes also cause volcanic eruptions. Magma chamber, the molten material while still under the earth's crust melts weak rocks and creates a huge chamber for itself. Fresh magma continues to pour inside the chamber. Since magma contains silicate material, gases and water vapors, the pressure always acts vertically upward. Once a root is found, it rises to the surface. This is why many volcanoes are found along the plate boundaries. However, all major volcanoes have beneath them a huge magma chamber or reservoir which is joined to the earth's surface by a conduit known as volcanic vent. Types of volcanoes. The phenomena of volcanism can be divided into two types, intrusive and extrusive. Intrusive type of landform occurs when lava solidifies within the earth's crust and gives rise to various shapes and forms. In extrusive type of landforms, the lava comes out of the earth's crust and solidifies into magma in various shapes and forms. The most important intrusive forms include batholith, lacolith, sills, dikes, lopoliths, and facoliths. Batholith rocks form the base of the mountain. They are large, coarse-grained, igneous landmass, which are formed after the erosion of upper-lying landmass from the unwithered part of hard rock. Lacoliths are large sill of acid lava, which solidifies slowly, giving it a dome shape. When lava solidifies, before coming out between the horizontal layers of parent rocks, they form sills. When magma solidifies in vertical columns of the bedrocks, they are called dikes. 
when lava solidifies in shallow basins in the shape of a saucer it is called lopolith faculites are dome shaped and are formed when acid lava solidifies on an anticline or the base of a syncline extrusive forms ash and cinder cones are built when eruptions are of explosive type growth of an ash or cinder cone begins around a crater it is not very high lava dome is formed when viscous lava solidify quickly and forms a steep sided cone lava solidifies in the spine or plug sometimes spine is exposed due to denudation lava shields the hawaiian volcanoes are excellent examples of basalt domes or shields for example mount etna composite or strato cone a strato volcano is characterized by alternate sheets of lava and pyroclastic material it experiences alternate periods of explosive quick eruptions lava solidifies to form dikes they are composed of more than one vent the cone throws out the rock fragments and magma may escape through another vent at the same time for example mount fujiyama of japan classification of volcanoes volcanoes may be classified into active dormant and extinct volcanoes volcanoes which constantly eject lava gases ashes cinder pumic etc are known as active volcanoes there are several hundred active volcanoes in the world most of them are in the pacific ocean and atlantic islands out of 1500 active volcanoes 50 or so erupt every year spewing steam ash toxic gases and lava mount st helens usa stromboli and etna mediterranean sea and pinatubo philippines are some of the examples of active volcanoes the stromboli volcano emits so much fire that it has come to be known as lighthouse of the mediterranean sea a volcano which although not extinct has not been known to erupt within historic time is known as dormant volcano the vesuvius volcano is one of the best examples of dormant volcano which erupted in 79 ad it remained dormant for over 1500 years and then suddenly erupted with a great force in 1631 ad a volcano that erupted in the distant geological past and the remains of which occur in an area where there is no longer an active volcanicity is known as extinct volcano the crater is filled up with water converting it into a lake known as crater lake its volcanic form or cone may have totally disappeared for example arthur seat in scotland it must be assumed that a volcano that has been inactive for a larger period of time is extinct and it may be an example of dormant volcano important volcanic zones of the world circum pacific belt the volcanoes occur near earthquake belts around the young fold mountains the circum pacific belt is also known as the pacific ring of fire because over 80% of the total number of active volcanoes are concentrated in this region among these are included 40 active volcanoes in andes over 100 in philippines 70 in indonesia and 40 in japan midworld mountain belt mount vesuvius mount etna mount stromboli the famous active volcanoes are located in the midworld mountain belt the only active volcano in india in andaman and nicobar islands is also located in this belt the hawaiian islands canary islands mount kenya are all in the midworld mountain belt mid atlantic belt This belt includes the volcanoes of Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Most of the volcanoes of this belt are of fissure eruption type. It also includes the volcanoes of Lesser Antilles, Southern Antilles, Azores, St. Helena, etc. Mid-Continental Belt This belt includes the volcanoes of Alps, Mountains, Mediterranean Sea, of Aegean Sea, Mount Ararat, 
एल्ब्रोस हिंदुकुश एंड द हिमालयाज इफेक्ट्स ऑफ वोल्कैनोस वोल्कैनिक इरप्शन हैव बोथ कंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड डिस्ट्रक्टिव इफेक्ट्स सो द इरप्शन विच आर अ सडन फोर्स इज टर्म्ड एज कंस्ट्रक्टिव फोर्सेज विच हैव अ नंबर ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिव इफेक्ट्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ The main constructive effects are landforms. Numerous types of landforms are created due to the cooling and solidification of magma below the earth's surface and lava on the earth's surface, which results in forming of volcanic plateaus, mountains, and volcanic plains. Volcanic plains are profitable to man as they are very fertile. They are vast, they are smooth, and they are formed by extensive volcanic flooding from volcanic centers for example the western victorian plain in victoria australia next is caldera lake due to repeated eruptions the summit of the volcano may be blown up in its place a large depression is formed which is known as caldera they are generally formed when magma chamber is no longer able to emit sufficient magma and this results in the collapse of a cone either partly or wholly this depression eventually gets filled with water and forms a lake for example crater lake in usa geysers and hot springs have medicinal properties so they are very important from a medical point of view the movement of magma in the interior of the earth heats up underground water particularly around magma chamber when water turns into steam it gushes up to the surface and hot springs are formed hot springs are also known as thermal springs which contains many dissolved minerals since hot springs are rich source of sulfur they are considered good for health especially for curing certain skin diseases sulfur hot springs at manikaran in kullu valley of himachal pradesh are a great tourist attraction geysers a geyser is a fountain of hot water and steam that escapes when underground water comes into contact with hot volcanic rocks for example the old faithful geyser in yellowstone national park in wyoming usa Some other constructive effects of volcanoes are the lava and ash deposited during an eruption breaks down to provide valuable nutrients for the soil and thus create fertile soil which is good for agriculture the places that have high level of heat due to volcanic activity inside the earth have higher potential for generating geothermal energy the dramatic scenery created by volcanic eruptions attracts tourists this brings in income to the area destructive effects when the volcanoes erupt they destroy life and property the hot lava together with ash and dust destroy not only human beings but also animals as well as plant life agricultural fields are covered with layers of volcanic ash and dust making them unsuitable for cultivation huge clouds are formed after the eruption of volcanoes causing heavy rains which result in floods and landslides volcanoes also emit poisonous gases which pollute the environment and cause health problems explosive volcanoes in ocean islands are followed by high tsunami waves they flood the area and destroy property people animals and crop products of a volcano A volcano erupts a number of products like steam gases molten rock dust ashes and other liquid and solid matter magma and lava the molten rock material inside the earth is known as magma when it reaches the surface of the earth it is called lava it consists of many materials and gases steam is the most abundant gas that comes out of a volcano When steam is ejected in huge quantities it forms clouds in the atmosphere resulting in rainfall other gases ejected by volcanoes include hydrogen sulfide sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide and hydrogen solid matter 
the solid fir fragments are rock pieces known as pyroclasts the fine particles are called dust the dust particles go on increasing in size the small stone sized particles are called lapilli violent eruptions known as bombs eject more materials the rock fragments that of volcano erupts do not originate from magma chamber but are picked up by the magma in the course of its upward movement structure of a volcano the very hot material that the volcano pours out creates both inside the earth and on the surface structures typical of a particular type of eruption the eruption may take place quietly or violently when the lava flows out through an opening in the earth's crust called vent the opening usually is like a circular pipe there may be only one opening at the summit however subsidiary vents are formed during repeated eruptions volcanic cone the erupted fluid material being hot collects around the vent and begins to cool gradually and solidifies the accumulation of material around the vent gives to the volcano its typical cone like shape known as volcanic cone 